This Holy Week, we will share you Bible stories with Leo Marquez, Timothy the Spartan, and Warpser, with special participation for questions and explanations with our members and crews of the JT Time Catcher. JT Time Catcher Holy Week Podcast Special. This is coming April 6 until 8 at 12 p.m. right here on JT Time Catcher. We can reach for the stars. Hello everyone, welcome to our JT Time Catcher Podcast 2023 Holy Week Special once again. Um, we're keeping on quietly so we can um, do a podcast for you. And this is not a again, this is this is not a regular uh, podcast, but this is just a a spiritual uh, no, uh, a spiritual podcast just for you and we can we can start for for a better moment so we can share we can share you a story and here's why we can we can do something. So Remy, ready to speak up? So we yep, can. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay. All right. So, so this topic, I mean, for this, um, for this podcast, we're sh- we we can share you a story, so we can, uh, we can know, um. That's why I need to read the whole story and and here's why you can express it. You need to express the the kind of story. That's oh, yeah. why. Oh yeah, so uh, for those who are just uh, just us uh, just watching with us, uh, please uh, reflect on that what uh, Theo read. In the this Bible story we'll be reading for today, for this Holy Week. Uh, All right. So you can um, share this to you. And we can we can also read it for you, so that's why. So we can share this to everyone. Mm-hmm. It's good. Okay. <clears throat> Here it is. So today I'm gonna share you. A a story, so we can uh, share this to you. It was um, in a co- in according of the yeah. It was um, if if I'm not gonna lie, it was according to to Luke. Um, eight. I mean, to Luke eight, Luke chapter eight, verse forty to fifty six, and Luke chapter seven, verse eleven to seventeen, and John chapter eleven, verse seventeen to forty four. So. Uh, so that's why we we are not gonna lie, cause this is absolutely a um, because I just need to read it for you, and Rami can explain, especially you, Luna. So that's why uh, 
you need to listen to me <laughs> once again. Okay. So here is the story. Jesus raised the dead. I mean, Jesus raised the Jairus' dead daughter. The girl you see here is 12 years old. Jesus is holding her hand. And her mother and father are standing close by. Did you know why they look so happy? Let's find out. The girl's father is an important man named Jairus. One day, his daughter becomes sick. And she is put to bed. But she does not get any better. She only gets sicker and sicker. Jairus and his wife are very worried because it looks like their little girl is going to die. She is their only daughter. So Jairus goes to look for Jesus. He had heard about the miracle Jesus is doing. When Jairus finds Jesus, there's a big crowd around him, but Jairus gets through the crowd and falls at Jesus. I mean, falls at Jesus' feet. So look at that. I mean, so did you express that? That um, Jairus gets throat and crowd and falls at Jesus' feet? And he said, my daughter is very, very sick. He says, please come and make her well. He begs. Jesus said that he will come. As they walk alone, the crowd keeps pushing to get closer. Suddenly, Jesus stops. And he says, who touched me? I mean, she, he says, who touched, who touched me? Jesus felt power go out from him. So he knows that someone touched him. But who? It is a woman who has been very sick for 12 years. She had come up and touched Jesus' clothes. And was healed. This makes Jairus feel better. Because he can. How easy it is for Jesus. To heal someone. But then a messenger comes. Don't bother Jesus anymore. He tells Jairus. Your daughter has died. So it's very sad, anyways. And and he, and and Jesus said, "says Don't worry, she'll be all right." And and here's a here's another important. I, I, I just want to need to read it so. When they finally get to Jairus' house, the people are crying with great grief. But Jesus said, don't weep or don't cry. The child did not die. She's only sleeping. But they, but they laugh at him and make fun of Jesus. Because they know that she is dead. What? Oh, come on. So, so I just want to need to recap once again that Jesus said, don't cry. Um, the child did not die. She is only sleeping. But the, but, the, but the crowd in the house just laughed and make fun of Jesus that, that she said, like, oh, come on. 
so let's continue. Jesus then takes the girl's father and mother and three of his apostles into the room where the child is lying. She takes her by the hand and says, Get up or arise. And she comes to life. Just as you see here, and she gets up and walks about. That is why her mother and father are so very, very happy. This is not the first person Jesus raised from the dead. But the first one the Bible tells about the son of a widow who lives in the city of Nain later. Jesus also raises Lazarus, the brother of Mary and Martha, from the dead. When Jesus rules as God's king, he will bring many, many dead people back to life. Can we be glad about that? It was actually according to... Yeah. It was uh, according to, to Luke chapter 8, verse 40 to 56. When Jesus returned, the crowd received him kindly, for they were all expecting him. But look, a man named Jairus came. This man was a presiding officer of the synagogue. synagogue. <laughs> All right. And he felt at the feet of Jesus and began to plead with him to come to his house. Because his only daughter, who was about 12 years old, was dying. As Jesus was going, the crowds pressed in on him. Now there the woman who had, who had flowed, flowed of blood for 12 years old, and she had not been able to get cure from anyone. She approached from behind and touched the fringe of his outer garment, and immediately her flow of blood stopped. So Jesus said, who touched me? When they, when they all, when they were all denying it, Peter said, Instructor, the crowd are having you and pressing against you. But Jesus said, Someone touch me, for I know that power went out of me. Seeing that she had not escaped notice. The woman came trembling and fell down before him and declared before all the people why she touched him. And now, and how she was healed immediately. But she, but I mean, but he said to her, daughter, your fate has made you well. Go in peace. As a matter of fact, um, hindi ko matapos yung, ano, yung, yung verse. It's way too long, right? So, Remy can also explain. Okay. Remy so, can, okay. Okay. Okay, guys. So, uh, here, so, okay. For, can I speak first? Um, I, I have a question for you. Okay. How the how the girl who was age twelve was alive from the dead? Okay, so that's a good question. Okay. I yeah, the one you read right about that. Um, it's a good example for that for me. But since I was, I, it's got a good uh the one that she felt that. She was, uh, she was thinking about that. If she was, uh, if uh, so, if if I, uh, 
if I were here when she was in the Bible, then she was uh, like, I have no uh, regret on her, but uh, she's very, uh, like I she's said. She's very young? She's very yeah, young? Yeah, too young for her. Too young for her. Yeah, that's all. So, as for you, Luna, can you speak up? Yes. Okay, okay. So, I just want to give you a question for you so I can, so you can answer it. So, why Jairus begged Jesus to heal his 12-year-old daughter? Because Jesus heals to, to, to share the powers. And do you have, so both of you have any explanation? So I will give you a three minutes to, yeah. to talk. So, so yeah, because, go first. Because, okay, go first, Luna. Yeah, because Jesus wants to share his powers the first time to to heal any people. So, um, so it's um it's a short answer for you. Thank thank you so much. And and for you, Remy, do you have any explanation? Same what same the same answer. Okay, same the answer. So, it's actually uh, it's actually good. And why Jesus heals the twelve year old a twelve year old girl and it's very very interesting, Diba. Right? It's very interesting. This is absolutely a miracle. If you want to watch the video, um Leave the link in the description so you can watch it. Oh, and how can you express your feelings about it? That's why. Remember, um, this podcast was brought to you by StreamYard. We can also record uh, some podcasts through video or audio. Thank you so much, StreamYard, for your powerful uh, professional uh, professional recording and thank you so much for your um, for your support and once again um, um, we, okay so I can so we can pray before we end our podcast we just do um, a oh no, we're just end this podcast after the prayer. So Rami can uh, pray for you after the uh, before we end our podcast. So Rami, uh, ready to pray? Okay, uh, okay, guys, uh, let's pray in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Lord, thank you so much for this uh, day you have given us and your blessings. And as we uh, uh, end our uh, uh, Holy Week special of our uh, JD Time Catcher podcast, uh, please heal for all our members and especially to all our crew members of, J of the JD Time Catcher Lord. We love you, thank you, and, and we love you, Mama Mary. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So thank you so much for uh, watching and listening to our podcast uh, this whole week make sure to please don't forget to subscribe to the JT Time Catcher Philippines channel and turn on the bell notification for more um, uh, to get more up to date and make sure we can do a podcast um, the for the next podcast on Good Friday we'll be talking about that with um with warp and we can uh share this to you so that's all for now thank you so much for coming 
our podcast. This is me again, Sia Marquez, together with Remy and Luna Dumps. Have a good day. God bless. God bless. God bless to all of you.